Somehow it always leads back to here. The Millennial Tower. But somehow we managed to avoid the whole entire time uh, that we were looking around. But now we can get to it. Let's reminisce. The tower. Millennial Tower. This is where my fate began. This is where I settled the score. With Akira Nishiki Yama. Even though we weren't related by blood, uh, Nishiki was the closest thing I had to a brother. I thought we could keep screwing around a small time Yakuza under the boss, but I don't know where it all went wrong. Or if this was the way things had to be. No matter how much thought I put into it, I just can't figure it out. Ah. That takes me back. That's why I need to keep my head up. Till it's time for us to meet again. And I can face him with pride. Keep on living. Or at least try to. He misses his buddy. He misses his buddy so bad. Kinda looks like Final Fantasy VII's uh, Shinra Tower. I'm gonna be real. Which... I also have not actually played the remake uh, all the way through proper, and I'm kind of thinking maybe I should at some point, but I had no idea how I want to do that, honestly. I wasn't exactly a big fan of the game the first time, but I have played the demo, and I like what the demo does, but it also makes me a little bit mad that it's not the same story, even though they advertise it as such. Regardless, the the point is is that we're going to go out here, enough Millennial Tower duties, as we reach our final point. Good old alcoholism. Let's go, baby. Or is it like right outside? It might just be right outside. There it is. Mm, that's him. I'd love to have a drink, but I don't ha uh, want to make anyone fuss over me. Long time ago, this place used to be called Abachus. Served some great drinks. It was also the place where I met Haruka for the first time. She was alone in a bar littered with corpses clutching a gun. I was shocked to see her there. She was so brave. Talking about his daughter, like, yeah, that's my daughter. Back then, she was just a child who only wanted to find her mother. I think that Harka's now a mother herself. That she'd give her life to protect her own child. This brings back memories. <laughs> the longer you live, the more surprises you get to see. Ain't that the tooth? And with that being done, we are officially done with all of Comercho's remembrances. But why don't we... well, the place we're going. Probably better off to go over there. Because we have this little area here. And also, boop, 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 that. It's clean. It's crazy. I think we went here in, in the first game, quote unquote, a cabaret one. club. Guess it's being renovated? Not surprising. Or this town's shine. always had a high turnover rate. Oh, Forshine. Right again. Same name as that club I helped down in Sotombori way back when. Will the star shine again? Oh. They nearly went under because of a rival club. At least until I stepped in as their manager. It was tough work, but still a great experience so wait the cabaret stuff I seen is Yuki, koyuki and yoda son since then it totally is that is part of canon you have to go through this part so this is canon i didn't know that that's wild oh my goodness but also yuki yuki is my favorite i love yuki so much she's such a dork mm. and she's uh not only a fantastically pretty girl she's also a milf and I'm hoping here she's a gilf. But you know, fingers crossed on that one. Hope they're doing well. But if this joint's got the same name. Hmm. 
Did they open up a new location? Um, excuse me. Did you need something? That's called Yuki, isn't it? <laughs> Not good. Wait, have we met before? <laughs> no, I think you've got the wrong guy. Um, take care. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Shy. <laughs> uh, I love you, the girls of Forshai, they're so cute. Oh my gosh, it's Kiryu-san! Damn, she caught me. Let my guard down for a second. Into thin air one day. I thought you kicked the bucket somewhere. You really ought to show your face more often. But wow, it's so good to see you. How's it going? Uh, it's been going. Like to pick it now, like Koyuki's just a civilian. What about you, Koyuki? You doing okay? Is this the same Forshine? Sure is. Forshine, the hottest cabaret club in Osaka, is coming to Kanto. Oh! In fact, we're gonna have our grand opening soon. Oh yeah, that's great. So how's business? Doing well? Well, no, not really. Yo, you consign clowns still haven't hit the road yet? Oh. Look, you people are the problem here. Outsiders can't just waltz on in and pop up a club whenever, wherever they want. That's not how we roll in Kamarocho. You hear me? You old hags got no place here. How many times we got to tell you? Excuse me, old hags are the side. backbone of society. Uh, here we go again. Backbone of hotness, really. Who's he? Some guy from one of the rival clubs. He doesn't like that we set up shop here, so he's been harassing us. Also, if you're wondering, yes, I am a old hag. And will become an even older hag sooner, so gotta rep. <laughs> Thanks to him, there are some nasty rumors going around. And to make matters worse, a few of our girls got scared off and quit. Ugh, that man's nothing but trouble. Come on now, we just want to settle things peacefully. But if you insist on running a club here, we're gonna have to insist you comply with our ways, all right? And this conversation's over. <laughs> Honestly, I'd rather die than take orders from you. Hell yeah. That's Ooh, a girl. Bitch. Fine then. I'll just have to beat them into you myself. And how are you gonna do that? Who the hell are you? One of their hires. As far as I know, Kamurocho doesn't roll any which way. You've got no right to mouth off about how things work around here. Hell yeah. Right back at you, old man. Whatever. Guess I'll have to beat your ass first. I'm gonna send all of you packing. You'll wish you never set foot in my city. Oh, it's his city? It's his? Right. Bring it on. We, we built this city on this asshole. Ah, <laughs> uh, bunny sucker. Yeah, why not? Give me, give me the money. This is gonna. This is mainly what I wanted to do to you. What's up, guy? We should be able to just kind of beat his ass, just the way that it goes. You want some? We have an extra. I don't think we do. It's fine. Yeah, you're stunned, my dude. I wonder how that happened. Huh? Get it? Hope you're ready. He's getting manhandled. We're getting manhandled by some bicycles that are lying around. Follow my lead. All right, bud. I see you. And I wage you another bicycle. Yep. Bet he's sad there's a lot of bisexuals out today. Cycling. Did you really think you'd win? How's this guy eating? He's way too strong. Now beat it. Come back here, and you deal with me. You won't catch me here again. 
I'm so sorry about that. You helped me out of a tough spot there. The same as ever. <laughs> right, Kiryu-san? As always. No, not necessarily. Anyway, before we were so rudely interrupted, I was just about to ask you to come on in for some tea. Step this way, please. Please tell me Yuki's here. Right behind you. Please tell me Yuki's here. I need to know. Real spacious here. Not bad. <laughs> we pretty much took over the previous club. It's a great spot and all, so we went ahead and rented it out. So, what happened to Forshine after I left? Well, after you made Forshine the number one club in Sotenbori, Yuki-san, Yoda-san, and I worked as a team to keep it that way. And for 15 years, we were the best of the best in all of Kansai. Impressive, right? Heck yeah! <laughs> sure is. Much harder to stay up top than to get there. Then, why are you here in Kamurocho, now of all times? Actually, I discussed branching out with Yuki-san and Yoda-san, but you know them. Not a greedy bone in their bodies. They didn't want to risk the club's quality dropping either. But after they retired, I was the one who ended up in charge. Oh! I figured, since I'm taking their place and all, maybe I ought to try something new, you know? I see. So Koyuki, the new owner on the block, wanted to give the Kanto expansion a shot. Well, it didn't have to be Kanto, honestly. I just really love Four Shine, and I want to share it with people outside of Kansai, too. The girls back in Sotenbori are golden. They don't need me there to run the club. That's why I thought I should challenge myself. Do something only the owner could do. That's great. I'm not surprised you went for it, given how much you cherish the place. Thank you. <laughs> Still, I never knew how tough it is to run a business. It's so different from serving the customers. There are way too many factors to take into account and no end to trouble, like that guy from earlier. To think Yuki-san and Yoda-san have been doing this for years. I can't help but respect them even more. It was one heck of a wake-up call. I had no idea so many people were looking out for us hostesses in ways we never even knew. <laughs> well... Now that you realize that, I'm sure you'll do just fine. Sorry for dropping in at such a busy time. Oh no, you're perfectly fine. To be honest, I wish you'd stay. Hell yeah. Having you as the manager would be a huge weight off my shoulders. Right? Oh, I know. You. You're gonna put me to work again? <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> just kidding. I'm serious about being short-staffed, though. We've lost a few of our girls to some threats, and some of our staff have even been headhunted. <sighs> it's gotten me kinda down recently. I guess some things never change, no matter the times. But why not ask the Sotombori Club for help? Yeah. I mean, I could, but the girls there are really popular. And since we'll be opening soon, I doubt I could adjust everyone's schedule in time. Hmm. Then why don't you ask Yuki for help? Yeah! She used to be the legendary hostess. She's the legendary she? hostess! I want to see yeah, Yuki again! Yeah, she can really turn kill, things kill, down. Kill, kill, kill. If I could even bring myself to ask. What's happening with Yuki? Yuki-san's out there making her own dreams come true and trying something new. Oh? And what's that? Running a restaurant. <gasps> she used the money she saved up from her hostess days to start it up. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Told me herself that she's been super busy since it took off. I just felt like I couldn't bother her with my problems. Not when she's got enough on her plate. And I'd feel real bad disturbing her if she's on track to success. <laughs> Wouldn't want to drag her down or anything. That, and uh, I can't keep crawling to Yuki-san for help. I need to handle this on my own. Ow, 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 ow. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. It's just because I've been buried in work, my stomach's not feeling too great. Don't push yourself too hard, all right? So, Yuki's got a new place, huh? What kind of restaurant is it? She hasn't told me much about it. All I know is that she set up shop in Yokohama in a corner of a building that's got a lot of bars. Sounds like Jincho. 
Yeah. It probably is. Given the location and how she was the legendary hostess, I'm sure she's running a bar or something. I wish I could swing by, but since this is a new venture for her, I'd feel like I'd be a bother if I showed up. Well, I'm actually staying in a Jinjo right now. Small world. <laughs> you should drop in and say hi then. That'd totally make Yuki-san's whole day. Right? I mean it. Go. Hmm. Uh. All right. Cool. Let me know how it is. And if she's worried about the club, just tell her everything's going fine and to focus on her place. Got it. I'll uh pass on the message. Thanks so much. And I hope you can stop by for our grand opening, Kiryu-san. Oh, five the time. I will. I know things are tough right now, but don't overdo it. That's always been a bad habit of yours. Oh, right. I'll keep that in mind. But still, I'm really happy I got to see you again. And I'm real proud of how much you've grown, Koyuki. I'll catch you later. He right. frees those girls into pretty women. <laughs> you come so far, uh, Koyuki. I'm a little worried. He's got her own place in a jean show too, apparently. Wonder if she's really running a bar. Okay. We are so close to being done. It's, it's kind of insane. Another unexpected reunion. Wonder what uh, Daidoji would have to say about this. Doesn't matter now. This was good for me. Glad I came back here. Alright, once everyone's ready, I'll take it back to uh Injincho. Okay, we just we just went over here for just reminiscent sake. Yeah, it looks like we did. Alright, let's go back to Injincho then. That works out just fine with me. What are you doing? Uh Yokasama is my favorite. His voice and his face. Are just sheer perfection. I'm gonna request him every day until he's ranked number one. That guy? Over here? Oh, is this Foreshine? No, not Foreshine. Uh, Stardust? I think? There is a lot, a lot of quote unquote hot guys. When are we gonna get hot girls that look like hot guys? That needs to be the next archetype that shows up for, uh, up for for anime, which is gonna be next season actually. The other day I used this parking lot and accidentally paid for someone else's space. To be honest, I was kind of hoping karma would make someone else pay for my. Yeah, well, that's the karma. Also, wasn't there? Yeah, like right here. It was supposed to be in the front of this place, right? Oh no, this is just a, a, a spot to like go for it. I move here, I go to Park Boulevard. Okay, um. Hmm. I just need to go all the way over there. Please, I just need a place to just travel to. Taxi, it's right there. Salvation. Please, please. All right, back to a gene show we went. I get to see Yuki. I'm so happy. I get to see Yuki. This is great. I'm so so happy about that. Well, that about covers everything, huh? Guess it's time for the big meeting. Yeah. Uh, Jinya Station. As we take off from there. No turning back. No turning back, eh? But I want to see... Yeah, let's go. There are two things here. So first, we're going to go over this way and get uh, Zhao's... Uh, Bond episode going. I think he's he's three hearts in, so we need two nice more. Nice going. Oh. Yes. 
I want to drink and then link. Great timing, Kiryu-san. You got a second? Yeah, I can stick around for a drink. Nah, that's not why I asked. <clears throat> I'm having a little get-together over at my place. Gonna treat those Liumong boys to some grub. You remember that blogger who'd been bad-mouthing me? I figured they'd deserve a reward for not offing him. Oh, good for them. Yep. You wanna tag along, Kiryu-san? Are you sure? I wouldn't want to get between you and your boys. Oh yeah, I'm sure. It's about damn time I get to serve the legend himself a meal. If you insist. No way I can turn you down now. Now we're talking. He's a small game. Thanks for inviting us, Cao Sang. You're cooking so good, I starved myself all day just so I can eat more of it. Thanks for having <laughs> us here, sir. Mm, I stick out like a sore thumb here. <laughs> it's all good. We're just here to eat good food. Hey. Guys, over there. Hmm? Wait, wait, hold up. Yo, look who we have here! This guy's snooping on us! Who the hell? Hey, it's him! The blogger! This doesn't look good, Kitty son Is he really the guy behind the blog? Yep, sure seems like it. Spill it! What the hell are you doing here? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about! Am I being abducted? Please, let me go! What's all this about? This guy's been trying to start a shit with Zhao San's restaurant again! Looks like he came all the way here just to look for more dirt. Is there a problem with that? What's wrong with saying a place has bad food? I have the right to free speech, you know. I gotta say, I'm impressed you got the balls to speak up with all of us here. What should we do with him, Zhao San? Wants to rough him up a bit. Ah, do you even hear yourself? Come on now, you can't do that to a civvy. He's right, you know. The guy's free to post whatever he wants on his blog. Huh, you can't fool me. You're the one behind the Yokohama Liumang. Huh? Oh yeah, I know all about it. You sent your men looking for me all over Ijincho, didn't you? When I heard that gangsters were hunting me down, I decided to look into you too. You're their boss, aren't you? Their former leader? You act like you're not involved in any of this, but you'll sick your dogs on me later. Oh, now, now. I think you've got the wrong idea. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Ain't that right, boys? <laughs> Since we're all here, why don't we settle down and have a bite? I've already finished prepping. Heck yeah! So, how about it, fellas? Anyway, we have so fucking base. I love so, him. Don't mind us. I'll leave you alone. Really? Yep. Really. Wait a minute. Zhao San. If we let him off, then he might write about all this on his blog just for the hell of it. We gotta take that dude's phone away first. What? No, absolutely not. You can't do that. The fact that this bastard came here knowing Zhao San's our boss. Oh, no doubt he's screwing with us. Probably thinks we can't do a damn thing. <laughs> well, no way. He's only got a bone to pick with me. Come on, boys, let him go. We can't. If he's picking a fight with you, that means he's picking a fight with all of us! Bro! You might have left us behind, but we still respect you. Even now, you keep acting like a pushover, so now some vlogger thinks he can mess with us! That's right. You even tossed us aside. Gave up the Liumang to Komijo. We can't even get things done like how I mean, we used to because of this cooperation bullshit specifically to because... Jinjo. He was just Sorry. like, I don't like this. If you're not happy with how I run things, then like I said before, go hit the road. Not happening, boss. We all looked up to you. We thought that if we stuck by you, we could be more like you. Normally, you look laid back, relaxed. But when the situation calls for it, you're ruthless, reliable, a charismatic leader. At least, you were. 
It's time you wake up, boss. The Tian Yu Zhao I know would never let some random blogger off for talking shit. First, we ought to splatter his guts all over the streets. Let the whole town know that Yokohama Liu Mang's back. I told you that I'd close up shop if anything happened to him. And I fucking meant it. But boss, that'd be for the better, right? Wouldn't have to be some chef if he came back. Quit being some he is, chef. He is not some chef. Yeah, Zhao San. Uh, no, I mean, <clears throat> boss. Our leader. Let's give him hell, boss. Stay behind me. Uh, no way. Am I going to die here? All right, fine. I get how you guys feel. You do? Then you'll come back? Nope. I'm not letting you boys lay a finger on this guy. You want him? You gotta get through me. They're just as feisty as you said they'd be. Sorry for dragging you into this, you son. Mind taking that blogger somewhere safe? I'll stop these guys. Wait, Zao-san, are you serious? You'll take us on? All to protect someone like him? Even though we're the ones who have always believed in you? I'll do anything to protect my restaurant. After all, I'm just some chef. All right, fine. Have it your way, then. Quit screwing with us, you damn wuss. Need a hand? Like, have You've they ever the worked in a kitchen? Tonight. We don't want you to bite off. My brother has. Shoot. And boy, what? howdy. You don't think I can Is handle that place it? hell? I'm absolutely starving right now. People are animals, and the fact yeah, that they man, get so demanding with their food is even more so the worst part of it. I've literally seen my brother loving cooking and just immediately start hating everybody because of how bad it was. It's just the nature of it, you know? We got Pocket Racer. Yeah, let's let's do Pocket Racer. We haven't seen him. Let's get him. The pocket circuit fighter lives on. Yeah. You got this. Okay, he just shows up. Let's go. Bro, how did you miss? Hi. How did he miss? We doing it, big. Right. Special order. Enjoy. We got one guy. Rude. Something wrong. I won't hold back. Okay. Double damage. Nothing. Yeah, I think this will work out better. Three. Okay, cool. Go. Finally have something. Moon. Mm. Wild sweep. That's the goal. Out of my way. Sure, why not? Looks let's, like let's, we got let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Got wrecked. Nope. <laughs> Ready for the knockout. I didn't get the one guy I needed to get. Are you serial? Ah. You think you can win? A little bit further. Come on. Yeah. No. No. That's not funny. Let me give you a punch at night. It's not nearly as good as I was hoping he was going to be. <laughs> kind of like not that good of a summon. Again, guys? I won't hold Alright, one guy left. Here. Do a little soul capturing. 
as ever boss please come back you'll just waste away here look i'm real touched you think so but if i went back to being your leader eugene cho will be split apart again i promised sunny that wouldn't happen ever again and left everything in her hands but we've always looked up to you still do if you do make a comeback we'll follow you to hell and back that's so. Hey, humor me for a second. Y yes, sir. What is it? This Tian Yo Zhao you've always admired. Is he the sort of guy who doesn't honor his promises? Right? Is that what you guys think of me? A man who doesn't keep his word? Uh. Get him. Um, Get their asses. No, sir. Not at all. <laughs> Good. Glad to hear it. Hey. Hey, yes? What do you want? You saw what happened just now, right? Thus you don't get involved with them any further. I'm sure you felt safe and secure over the internet. But here, you were only safe thanks to Zhao. I'm so sorry, Zhao-san. I'll delete everything I posted about your restaurant. I won't ever come near here again. So please, forgive me for what I've done. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. No need to delete anything. Huh? I just want to ask you a question. And you ate at my restaurant. Was my cooking really that bad? Legit. Er, uh, actually, it didn't taste awful at all. Hmm? I'll be honest with you. Your food is the best damn thing I've ever tasted in my entire life. Hot town. Come again? Nothing in Chinatown could even come close. I wanted to use every word in my vocabulary to praise your cooking on my blog. I thought maybe I could spread the word, share your food with everyone, so much so that I felt like I was on fire. But when you suddenly told me to refrain from filming inside your restaurant, the descriptions I had drafted in my head just fizzled out. That really upset me. And before I knew it... You flung your chopsticks down? I really am sorry about that. I don't know what came over me. Even though I've been wanting to compliment you, I kept thinking that you humiliated me in your shop. In the end, hatred sprung from your love. So that's the whole story. In that case, sorry. But I can't let you go home. <laughs> huh? um, yeah, you're gonna taste you it again, that? motherfucker. <laughs> hey, Zhao, what are you planning? <laughs> now, go ahead and eat your fill. You're gonna recall each and every single word of praise that came to your head. But, but are you sure you want to treat me to all this food? Well, you were pretty spot on when critiquing other places. So now I want to know what you really think. Anyone else? Uh, I don't know what to say, Zhao San. This is the first time anyone's ever told me that. No way I'm wasting this opportunity. Bon appetit! Dig in! <laughs> mm. oh. mm. oh. That's me. Oh. Whenever I get sushi. For a really good sandwich. A real good sandwich wow. takes me delicious. down, I'll be real. Mm. Mm. Damn! Tasty! Zhao, are you sure this guy's the real deal? All he said so far is that he loves the food and that it's damn tasty. <laughs> Aren't those the best compliments a chef could hear? Right? There's more where that came from. You better savor it all. Woohoo! This is the best day ever, Zhao San. Everything tastes so good. I can't stop eating. My bad, kitty son. Didn't mean to drag you into that old mess. But you did. Missed out on my free meal because of you. 
<laughs> At least that blogger looked like he enjoyed himself. The man ate everything you put in front of him. Huh? Back up a sec, Kiryu-san. You didn't get to taste my cooking? At all? No. Pretty much. Surprisingly. <laughs> well disgruntled. <laughs> well, there'll always be another chance. We're drinking buddies now, aren't we? Yeah, that's true. But after seeing you fight earlier, I can understand why your boys want you back. <laughs> You've got a knack for being a leader. It does seem like a waste of talent. Oh yeah, maybe. But all my life I was taught how to lead others. For as long as I can remember, I was told it was my birthright. Then one day I inherited everything from my dad. And now that I've left that all behind, a new world opened up to me. Oh yeah. There's no way I'm letting that go. Not without a fight. Being a chef means the world to you. Yep. There were a ton of possibilities, but the only one that mattered was the one I chose. I think I get it. Mm -hmm. Tossing a walk over a roaring flame, seeing the customers smile after eating my food. Everything's so fresh and new. I really dig the way things are right now. And not only that, but if I can knock back drinks with a buddy from time to time, I'll be set for life. Sounds good to me. A humble life's not so bad. Mm -hmm. 